Welcome back to Frozen City Education. This is Ed. Today I'm going to be talking about SNDL as per requested on my Twitter account. Please make sure you drop a like to help this channel grow. Subscribe and leave your notifications on uh, to get the latest out of videos. Without further ado, I'm going to go through technical analysis for this company. Uh, the most upcoming catalyst. I'm going to go through an overview of the company itself, financials, and then how I'm playing the stock and what I think about it. Uh, so first things first, we're seeing here uh, an MACD that is going on a little bit. Uh, through a reversal that did happen on the 13th and then did dip a little bit back uh, right off on the offering that they had received uh, today. Uh, the stock is insanely oversold at this point. ADX is sitting at 25, 50, or sorry, 63. Doesn't give us much on the ADX, but we need to look into the one hour perspective and momentum here has retracted. So uh, on the moving averages do look bearish where the price is below the 50 SMA in purple. 200 SMA in blue and the 30 EMA is above the 10 SMA. Now, all in all, it does look bearish on the moving averages here. On the MACD, it does look like it's testing a reversal, which already we've seen a negative reversal due to an offering, which is expected. And the willing percent R looks like it's a really good opportunity to buy it at this point. So, we need to look a little bit into the one hour perspective in order to kind of determine uh, on how the stock is moving. So on the pre-market, it did hit around uh, 0.85 and then basically reached down half that uh, today. Um, and so some of the things that we've seen here, um, a little bit around 5 a.m. for instance, is so this one was a golden star that we've seen. Um, and then it basically just stayed around there. So you can see the moving averages have been touching and it really is looking bullish between the 50 SMA and the 200 SMA on the one hour scale. Now the 30, 10 SMA dove under the 30 EMA, which is understandable with every offering. The stock price is currently above the VWAP. Now it did kind of ha uh, form almost a cup there. Uh, we're gonna show you there in a minute. And that does show a little bit of a bullish action where it did actually already go from 43, um, 434 all the way up to the 0.5 action. And what that tells me right now is that there is a strong potential that this goes even beyond its offering price and i've been with i've seen a lot of offering prices or offering plays with a lot of hype that it does dip and then recover very quickly afterwards so there's definitely something there volume has been steady and it hasn't really dipped down on volume as you would expect macd seems to be curving up and it might will definitely uh see a reversal sometime either monday or tuesday and adx is sitting in 2633 now it did kind of hit um uh, so yeah, there's nothing much there on the ADX just because it's coming from the top, but it looks like there is a strong trend here, which is an uptrend coming in from the 40, 40 uh, 3 cents. Going on towards willing percent R, what we're seeing here is that the stock is oversold, heading a little bit towards neutral in the extended market with lower volumes. And we get to see on the momentum here that the stock is gaining back momentum. So we need to look a little bit into the moving averages and we get to see here in the blue band with the purple, the stock is expected to trade between 57 cents and 69 cents. Um, and the stock price is currently underneath there. Uh, we get to see on Fibonacci retracement supports and resistances. Current resistance is sitting at 0.55. Uh, and the, currently the next resistance we're seeing is around the 0.52 mark. Now, uh, normally you would see a little bit of struggling uh, under the 50 sorry around the 50% mark due to an offering priced in on there but the current resistance first resistance is a 52 cents uh, and that that was the previous strong support and then around 53 cents and then we're hitting the 55 cents on the Fibonacci retracements and then above that we're seeing uh, 57 cents um, and above that we're seeing 59 and then 0 0.60 and then from there there's a lot of uptrends so 63 cents on the Fibonacci retracement and 65 on uh well just traditionally and then we're seeing above that perhaps um very much around 69 cents so there is a lot of uptrend here now some of the things that we've seen that we're actually bullish uh, you can see a double bottom here that formed and it did play through around 85 cents in the pre-market before it really dipped down uh, through the offering. So what, do you, what are we looking at here in terms of news? Um, we're going to look at it in a bit. First, I'm going to go through a company presentation uh, from the company itself. Now, some of the, this is the company's website. 
some of the products that they actually do make in here um, or some of the brands that they have is they have the sundial uh, top leaf uh, BC weed um, palmetto and a bunch of others like uh, grasslands and so they offer hemp products and um, cannabis so we're just gonna go through here on terms of the presentation so as I did mention that is their current products here their enterprise value is around 229 million um, market capitalization is 79 mm and the cash is around 27 mm in terms of the debt that they have is 177 mm and around 435 employees with almost half a million square feet of state-of-the-art health canada license facility in alberto um, now moving forward they do have a leadership team here coming in from different backgrounds their chief experience officer kellogg's general mills and you see from other um different parts not going to go through the exact details but um let's try to move on forward so as i said this is top leaf they do have uh, formats of either uh pre-roll uh, concentrates flower or vapes so they do offer different kind of uh, uh brands as well this one has vapes concentrates and flower for bc weed uh, oil tropical so basically it's the almost exact same thing just moving on forward um, let's try to skip through a little bit okay and we go on through here market price at centimation uh, so this is Ontario shader of dried flower and vape price point and you get to see there they do tr uh, they do cover a little bit of a different uh, uh, move price variation going on from value to premium so they do have a different um, market capitalization on there now coming on towards uh, where they look out in terms of the company so they already are on the ramp uh, efficacy or efficiency and then effectiveness so that's mainly where they're going on right now and that's the things that we're expecting on so stuff like um, new launching for products uh, different shares and you've seen actually the market has advanced on the onto there um, going on towards their uh, SNDL accelerating market share penetration up to date. They do have around 2.5 in Ontario, Western Canada 5.6, Quebec 4.3, and Atlanta Canada is around 4.2. So it mainly is a Canadian company, and that's where their operations uh, revolve around. So it is a Canadian company actually. Um, and we're seeing here from date to date, from quarter two to quarter one, that their actual market share estimate has increased in every single part of Canada in Quebec they went from 0% to 4.3 so there is growth that is actually being seen around here um, Q2 results here so we get to see that net cannabis revenue is 44% higher from quarter one in 2020 uh, 2020 uh, adjusted EBITDA is 66% from quarter one uh, adjusted gross gross margin is around 10% versus quarter one uh, gross so you get to see here there is an increase there so the basic highlights as I did as I said the 44% and uh, the 66% so this is 69 versus 54 on um, branded sales shift in quarter one 2020 and reduce CMG and a uh, by 33% versus Q1A so um, oh and debt restructuring capital raise and uh, this position on bridge farm assets so definitely good news here coming in now I do expect that they they probably did not oh they're going to probably see better uh growth in quarter three as canada uh comes out off a bit of the pandemic with better numbers uh, at least in areas other than british columbia as of today uh there is uh, uh canadian numbers are way less than a lot of the other worlds so you get to expect that there is a bit of growth there for quarter three if you're holding it for that long so now we're going on towards institutional values and you get to see here in terms of institutional values Cohen and company has uh well value changes increased so i what i'm thinking i'm not sure exactly what happened there it's a little bit mixed news but you get to see uh new positions on the 14th and on the 13th different positions going on the 13th and that probably would be something relating to um a bit towards the earnings people on um, institution want to buy oh, sorry sell before the earnings but you do see they also created a call right after disposing their product uh, sorry their uh, current position previous positions so all in all, it looks like in August, there's a lot of still institutional interest for this company. Going on towards insiders, I don't have that information here and I don't see it. Uh, currently, it is trading only in NASDAQ and the current offering price is 50 cents. That is closing in 
on August 18th. So that is next week on Tuesday. The warrants will be exercised above, uh, initially be around 75 cents. So definitely that is a, another point or another price you need to be kind of looking at. It's just a bigger version of a different filing that they did on the 6K. This is in terms of the revenue and you get to see that there has been an, an increase of 67% in terms of revenue from quarter one, 2020 to quarter two, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's adjusted EDBA quarter two from quarter one. Uh, nothing much. This is exactly same kind of uh, revenues and, and in details in terms of assets and whatnot. So I'm not going to go through there. This is the offering, uh, shelf offering that they've done for form. Uh, I believe, well, this is the F1. So this is the actual offering proposed uh, at a proposed of 79 cent maximum. And we've already seen the price of 50 cents. So what is the game plan for this one and how I'm trading this? Uh, so definitely, well, I, I was lucky enough to pick it up a little bit on the bottom. Uh, offering plays sometimes when the price is a little bit up too high. I know a lot of people have bought around the 50, uh, 50 cents. And so it's very important to try to wait until this up, um, bottoms out. I did buy around the 44 cents. Uh, Mike's and I did start averaging up as we go. And that's something I rarely ever do is averaging up unless I really see a lot of potential. Currently, my game plan is to wait it until offering is done at least and then consider where the momentum and hype is going on. But it definitely is a good swing if you're looking for a price uh, that would probably swing in the next resistance at 52 cents. And it definitely has a strong support around the 55 cents where it can actually see there. So uh, that is around a gain of, uh, well, it's still nice gains going on from what it's trading right now, around 48 cents, and it does hover up and down around there, down to 47 cents at some point. So let's say 48 cents going on 52, you're probably, you're seeing around 8% increase. What do you think about this ticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, you have a wonderful day.